very, very hard to be a top-notch financial modeler if you haven't got really good Excel skills. Now, design skills are important, and this is something that financial modelers are often not very good at. We're very good at getting the numbers right, but when it comes to communicating the output or the design of the model, sometimes we're not so good at that. That's what your formula should look like. Okay, here's the fun part. Have a go at that and see if you can figure out how to get that working and then we'll work through it together. How did you go? I'm going to use a VLOOKUP formula for this one. This is not going to be a hard-coded number anymore, so I'm going to change the background to no fill. So now that we've finished with our numbers, we're going to put a graphic in there. It's always nice to display the output of your financial model. If your years don't pop up automatically, you might need to go in and go to select data and have a bit of a play around in there. And if that still doesn't work, you might need to go on to the second series. So see if you can get that working. That's it for our online financial modeling course. Course. Thank you so much for your company. I do hope you've enjoyed the course.